Take the right leg high as you inhale. Bring your knee into your nose, right knee into the nose. Heels of the hands drop back, knee pulls forward. Press the earth away, pull the navel in, seal the muscles of the pelvic floor. Getting right into the core, heating up the anterior chain. Take a breath in, exhale, set the right shin bone down and underneath you. Spin the right heel out, right palm under right shoulder. Come into stargazer's pose. Press the pubic bone forward. Rotate the left ribs open. Firm into the outside edge of the left foot. Stretch the left fingertips towards the front of your mat. Feeling a huge release. on the left side body. Come to a neutral spine, float left leg, left hand to left ankle, half of bow pose. Kick the foot into the hand. Pull your crown away from your heel. You can let your right ear fall to your right shoulder, stretching through the left levator scap and upper trap. Release back to stargazer's pose. Bring your left hand to the mat. Parallel your right shin to the side edge of the mat. Firm into the hands, lift the right knee up. Flex the right foot, step it through. Take an inhale, stretch through low lunge, shine the collarbones. Exhale, around the spine. Come into pyramid pose. Inhale, drop the hips. Smile the collarbones, back bend. Exhale, round the spine, straighten out the right leg. Hamstring stretch, contraction of the spine. Drop the hips, left hip stretch, extension of the spine. Round the spine, straighten out the right leg. One more, inhale into your back bend, your hip stretch, your extension. And exhale into your contraction. Inhale into a neutral low lunge and quarter turn. Prasrita Padmottanasana. Straddle fold. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. Lift up on the kneecaps. Breathe. Halfway lift, inhale, quarter turn in front of the studio as you exhale. Firm into the hands, inhale to plank pose. A little more fire, a little more heat in the core. Drag the heels of the hands back, pull the toes forward. Pull your navel into your spine, lift and hug the perineum in. Gaze forward about three feet in front of your mat to hold the neck in line with the spine. And then lift your hips up in space back to downward facing dog. Close your eyes, pedal out the feet. Take the left leg up and back, breath in. Knee to nose, breath out. Drag the heels of the hands back, pull the knee forward. Contract the navel into spine, lift the pelvic floor. Firm your right quad. Set your left shin bone down, spin your left heel out. Left palm under the left shoulder, stargazer's posture. Press into the sole of the right foot, push the pubic bone forward. Rotate the right ribs open. Stretch 
stretch the right fingertips away from the outside edge of the right foot. Huge opening for the right side body. You can let that left ear rest towards the left shoulder. Come back to neutral. Float right leg, right hand to right ankle, half of both. Kick into the hand, pull the crown and the heel apart. You can let the left ear rest, relax, opening the right side neck. Gently release, bring back to Stargazer's Pose, right hand to the mat, left shin swings back into alignment, lift that left knee up, flex the left foot, step it through, and then quarter turn into Prasrita, straddle fold, shake your head no, lift your kneecaps up, feel equal pressure in the heels and the balls of the feet, let your exhales deepen you into the stretch. Halfway lift on an inhale. Low lunge, front of the studio, exhale. Inhale, stretch, back bend. Exhale, contract, forward fold. Inhale, stretch, back bend. Exhale, contract. Pyramid posture, spine rounds. Spine lengthens, heart reaches, right hip opens. And then take it into the contraction, the hamstring stretch. Two more, your own rhythm, your own breath. I know I'm not in order here. We did this before, we did our straddle fold, but it's all good. Take it back into low lunge, firm into the hands, pick up the left knee, step back to plank pose. This time we're gonna march it out. Feel, make sure you really feel your glutes activate. So lift that right leg up, feel your glutes, lift that right heel, and then squeeze it in. Step it back to plank pose, let your glutes lift that left heel, squeeze it in. Pull the heels and the hands back as you pull the knee forward. March it out. You got it. Bring your knees to the mat, split them wide. Sit close to the heels, child's pose. Take a moment here to find the breath, right? You guys know the breath, we work with this all the time. Open the crown of the head, flood the heart with the luminous viscous inhale, feel it light up. Exhale, lift the breath up, send it all the way out and around in the sphere around your body. Inhale, rise the breath from the tail as you descend the breath, the inhale from the heavens, let it connect in the heart. Tune into a frequency and intention. And then exhale, send it out and around spherically, moving through your body's energy pattern, imprinting on the morphic fields. I usually love to work with just a word, right? I'll tune in to what I'm having a hard time with, right? And I'll look for what's the opposite, right? I've got two COVID patients here at home. My husband and my daughter, they are sick. They're gonna be just fine and they're getting better, but I've been working a lot with resiliency, right? So I feel fatigued, I feel stressed. And so I've been working with resiliency. I usually work with love because love encompasses all. So just tune into a frequency, a direction you're moving towards and use the breath as a pump, 
this beautiful pranayama where we breathe through the tube towards the energy pattern and we imprint on the morphic fields. Once you're tuned into your intention, the frequency, the direction you're moving will meet back in down dog. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Look forward, step hop, float, feet to hands. Come up strong, squeeze the scapula onto the spine, use the power of the rhomboids to open the heart. Exhale, fold, in and down, surrender into the hip crease. Sweep it up, inhale, lift and lower. The inhale into the heart, luminous and viscous light up your intention. Exhale as you bring thumbs to heart center, propel that frequency out and around you, imprint on the morphic field. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, your journey to down dog. Step, hop, float back. You guys all know, none of you are new that chaturanga and up dog are optional and just one way to get back to down dog. You can hold plank and lift back to build that core and shoulder strength. You can step right into down dog to take the heat out. You can put the knees down for chaturanga. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back, feet to hands. Halfway lift, breath in, it's strong. Fold into the hip crease, breath out, surrender. Sweep it up, rush the sky, lift and lower the inhale, connect it in the heart, attune to your frequency, send it out and around as you connect thumbs to heart center. Reach up, look up, breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Flat back, breath in. Down dog, yogi's journey. Squeeze the scapula from the quads when you come into up dog from the pit of the belly, lift back to down dog. Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Bringing it into the heart, attuning to the frequency. Exhaling out and around and imprinting. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back, feet to the hands. Halfway lift, strong in the upper back. Use the power in the back to open the heart. Fold into the hip crease with the posterior chain and the neck. Release. Sweep it up. Become a lightning rod. Receive in the heart center. Exhale. Send it out and around like a cocoon or a shield of the frequency you are reaching for. Reach up, look up, inhale. Fold forward, out and down. Exhale. Flat back, strong, lift halfway, inhale, pull your navel in, seal your pelvic floor. Keep that engagement as you flow through your version, the vinyasa that works for your body. Close your eyes, press the earth away, lift the kneecaps, lift the sits bones, let the heels fall towards the earth. Focus on the breath. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Step up, float, feet forward. Strong lift, surrender, fold. Sweep it up, brush the sky. Plug it in, thumbs connect. Reach up, look up, inhale. Out and down, fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Down dog. Take the right leg high, inhale. Right foot lands inside, right thumb, exhale. Yogi's choice, warrior one or high lunge. I'm going for warrior one, it's a favorite. You guys have heard me say a million times, we twist the pelvis, then we back bend. It can create congestion, compression, and pain in the SI, not the point of the pose. So you can neutralize the pelvis in high lunge. If I'm talking to you, Pull, right, I can see, right, myself and my monitor, pull your right ribs back, pull your left ribs forward. Let your scapula soften into your back pockets as from the pelvic floor, the side base and the heart, you lift. Left quad is so strong, firming into the outside edge of the left foot. Plant, commit this posture through your right heel. Track your right knee open so both thighs are externally rotating. Pelvic floor is lifting. 
Start to let the heat build. Warrior two. Walk that front foot in so you that have that heel to heel or heel to inner arch alignment. Keep this wrap, this external rotation. Firm into the outside edges of both feet. Lift your heart, lift your sideways, draw your tailbone down. Lift your perineum. Gaze softly over the right fingers. Fingers attuned to your breath. Such a beautiful shape. You guys hear me say this all the time. It's my favorite shape to feel that tutorial pattern, that energy body, that inhaling through Shishun Nanai to the heart, lighting up the frequency of love, whatever word you're working with. All positive emotions ultimately mean love. And then exhale, you send it out and around. Think of the apple, the butterfly. Allison, I'm thinking of you. I know you hate warrior two. Here you are. <laughs> Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Left hand wraps from right thigh. Left ear falls towards left shoulder. Close your eyes. Keep that awareness, that focus on your breath. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel the hands down. Pause and low lunge. Look forward. Take it. Inhale. Exhale. Contract to full. Front of the mat. Halfway lift. Breath in. Pull down into the hip crease. Breath out. Building heat. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Sit low. Inner arches and toes are right. Hips are back. Side wrist is long, cranium is lifted. Close your eyes, settle into the breath. Inhaling into the heart, attune to your word that means love. Exhale, imprint it on the morphic field. Sit a little bit lower, squeeze the glutes a little bit firmer. Stand tall as you do with the left heel. Left hand catches the top of the left foot. Line up the knees. Press the pubic bone forward. Pull your left knee back as you push the pubic bone forward. Move deep into left quad. Switch sides. Release your left foot. Catch your right foot. Open up the quads, pull the right knee back, press the pubic bone forward. Warming up our stabilizers, our ability to balance. Release foot to floor, rise the arms, inhale. Fold out and down, exhale. Flat back, inhale, down dog, yogi's journey. Chaturanga and up dog, just one way to get there. Left leg reaches, left foot steps. Warrior one or high lunge, yogi's choice. Close your eyes, settle in. Thigh bones externally rotating, firming into the heels and the outside edges of the feet. Pulling the right ribs forward, away from that right quad. They're moving in opposite directions, right? The ribs and the quad are pulling apart. The quad wraps back and presses down. The ribs pull forward and lift up. Left ribs back. Pelvic floor engaged. Breath in, warrior two, open out. Sit low, use this time as we fill our energy body to take your focus into the breath. 
Flood the heart on the inhale. Rise the breath, move it around you in a 360 sphere, luminous and viscous. Let it come back together under your feet. Lift and lower the inhale to the heart. Feel that vibration and exhale it out and around. Keep the quads externally rotating, pulling apart. Keep that contraction to the midline. Start at your pelvic floor. Lift the heart, lift the sideways. Nothing in the legs changes. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. I like to let right ear fall towards right shoulder. Big breath in. Exhale to low lunge. Pause. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Back into chair pose, building heat. Working on stability and building heat. Take the weight back, lift. Pelvic floor, lift navel. Lift in our arches. Float the left leg, left ankle over right thigh, left foot in flexion. Moving into outer left hip. Stand tall, left hand to inside edge of left foot, dancer's pose. Moving deeper. Tip the heart forward, kick the foot into the hand. Really push, kick the foot into the hand, pull the crown forward. Rise up to standing, release left foot to floor. Exhale, low flying chair. Inhale, chair pose. Stamp down through the left foot. Lift your right knee. Standing half pigeon, moving into outer right hip. Working balance, working stability as we open the body. Stand tall, lift your right knee up. Right heel back. Inside edge of right foot into right hand. Kick back, dancer's pose. Lift your heel above your crown. Spin your right torso open as the right hip closes. I love having a wall. I'm gonna have a hard time when I leave my home studio and don't have a wall right in front of me for balancing. Release, right foot to floor, stand tall, take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in and down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, let something release. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, thumbs connect, heart center. Sun salutation B. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, your journey. Down dog. Actually, sun D, not sun B. Right foot. Ride your inhale up to warrior one. Ride your exhale open to warrior two. Flip the front palm. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to down dog. Left foot, warrior one, inhale to rise, exhale to open, inhale to reverse, exhale to flow, 
your journey. Down dog. Pressing the earth away as you descend in chaturanga. Keeping the gaze forward. Down dog, close your eyes. Feel free to pedal it out. Bringing that space. If you're pedaling the feet, bring them back to neutral. Lift heels, bend knees, way back. Step up, float, front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down into your hip crease, exhale. Sit in the chair pose, inhale. Let something release back, exhale. Sweep it up, inhale. Connect to center, exhale. Take a few breaths, focus on that intention, on the frequency, receiving in the heart, imprinting on the morphic field as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Lift the sits bones, fold forward as you exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Down dog, yogi's journey. Right foot, same dance. You guys all know it. High lunge or warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, open out, exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Down dog, meet me there. Your flow, your journey. Squeeze it up dog, contract the glutes, contract the scapula from the quads, from the pit of the belly, down dog. Left foot. Same dance, high lunge or warrior one to inhale. Expressing open to two on the exhale. Flipping the front palm, reverse, down dog. I love this song, if you're with me on the playlist, you've heard a lot of it lately. Close your eyes. Ah, pedal it out. Focus on the breath. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Feet to hands, halfway lift, breath in. Fold down into the hip crease, breath out. Chair pose, inhale, strong glutes, lift to pelvic floor. Let something release, exhale. Stand tall, become a lightning rod for your intention. Pull the pubs into heart center. Encase yourself in that intention imprinted on the morphic field. Another breath. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Down dog. Right foot, warrior one. You guys know this. Just checking. Text. Warrior one, inhale to rise. Sorry, when I check text, I'm just making sure it's not you guys. Because who else is texting this time of day? Warrior two, open. Reverse warrior, breath in. Down dog, your flow. It was calling because it's so unusual for her to miss class, so she's apologizing. It's like, it's okay. Left foot. Warrior one, inhale to rise. Exhale to open. Flip the front palm, reverse. Flow. Ha. Heat is building. Close your eyes. He is so amazing. When we're working with this breath, this pranayama, when we're working on shifting the negative emotion on its pull, on its access, right, from some version of fear into some version of love, we think of heat, fire, the element of transmutation, right? So we build heat in our body and we support this process, this alchemy. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Feet to hands, halfway lift, inhale. 
fold down into the hip crease, exhale, chair pose, inhale, let something release, exhale, sweep it up, inhale, thumbs connect, heart center, exhale, take a breath or two, ha, sigh it out anytime, I sigh a lot, that heat process of transmutation, then I got to release, ha, Chair pose, inhale, fold forward, exhale, flat back, inhale, down dog, yogi's journey. Right foot, you guys know this dance, but sync up with me because we're going to add on, rise up, warrior one, inhale, open out, warrior two, exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle posture, exhale. Pause here for your inhale. Exhale into low lunge. Inhale, open your right arm to the ceiling. Close your eyes, settle in. Firm your left quad into bone, recruit that left medial glute, lifting that left hip up in space. Pull your heart away from your left heel. Spin those right ribs open. Roll on the outside edge of the left foot. Bring your right toes up and over. First deep back bend. Should be ready with all of our up dogs and all the warmth in our body. If not, put your left knee on the earth and repeat stargazer's pose. Come back through plank pose. Right hand under right shoulder. Roll the outside edge of right foot. Side plank your version. If you're ready, left hand can take left knee, left piece fingers can maybe even hook left toes, maybe. It's pretty early in practice. But there's some strong yogis on the Zoom board. Float the left leg, look at the right thumb. Step the left foot up to low lunge. Rise the fingertips, high lunge. If you want to flow in your pranayama with the breath, please feel free. If you want to hold static, letting your nervous system settle into the posture, great. Take a breath in. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Lengthen the spine. Right tricep hooks over left thigh. Scapula move down the back. We were just in the, in the gentler twist on the right side. We talked about that back leg quad and medial glutes. So strong. Wrapping in. Pull the heart forward and lean back. Feel a sense of extension and length in the spine. Commit to the posture through the left heel. Lift the pelvic floor. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Where's that pranayama now? How are you imprinting on the morphic field? How are you shifting? How are you using this element of fire that we are working with to transmute some negativity you're dealing with in your own life? Look down at your left big toe, right foot slides up, we end up in twisted chair. Sit low, squeeze glutes, shine heart. He is building for sure. Take the weight through the heels, brighten the toes, brighten the inner arches, look down, line up your knees. Keep pulling the tailbone back as you reach the heart forward, putting as much length into your spine as you can. Of course, you can be in side crow. Stamp down to rise up, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Ha! There's that side. Sit into an easy chair, not a super deep chair. Transfer weight to the right foot. Left leg up and over. Once you have your base, left arm under. 
Scapula down the back, elbows up, thumbs forward. Squeeze the midline, lift the pelvic floor, anchor the navel, lift the side waist, anchor the scapula. Don't overthink it. This is a tricky transition. We're just going to open up and swim into half moon posture. Pull the left toes back towards the nose. Pull the right side waist long. Rotate those left ribs open. Scissor the inner thighs. Of course, you can take cheek pops in a left hand to left angle if you want that quad stretch back then. I will take any opportunity to quad stretch. Standing splits. You're welcome to play with Shiva squats, right? Inhaling into the squat. The heart opens, then we crouch knee to knee to receive the breath. We drop the crown, we lay the leg to release the breath, right? You can flow with those. You can set up for handstand. Your journey. As you are ready, right? If you're in handstand, you can drop it back. We will all meet in down dog. Ha! Sigh it out. That transmutation process. We build some up. We want to shift it on its axis and we ha! From overwhelm, right? to resiliency, from fatigue to resiliency, from fear to love. Left leg pulls high, left foot steps. Warrior one or high lunge, inhale. Warrior two, open out, exhale. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle posture, exhale. Pause, take an inhale. As you exhale, right um, low lunge, and then left arm open to the sky for a twist. Right quad, right needle glute up and in. Right, notice if your spine is hunching, crunching, contracting and hiding. Open up your heart. Right, you should be able to, you guys could read my t-shirt now here in camp. Think of making sure the person on your left can read your shirt. Don't lose the power in the right leg. I'm exaggerating, but I see some variation of this shape a lot. That's not the shape. That right quad is strong. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Take it onto the outside edge of the right foot. Left toes up and over. This is our first deep back bend on the second side. Not really. I guess we did half bow from stargazers earlier. That was a deep back bend too. Firm into the ball of the left foot. Pull your left armpit away from your left hip. I'd like to take my hand and support my head on this side. Because I have a little neck issue. Nothing essential you can reach. Left hand to the mat. Outside edge of left foot. Side plank, second side. Feel free if you're ready to hook the knee. If you're stable, feel free to hook the big toes. Feel free to put the left knee on the earth. Float the right leg, look forward, step. Inhale up, high lunge. Remember, you can flow with the breath if it's logical. You can hold steady. Ha! Side. I can't recommend it enough. Feel, right? The power in the right quad. Feel how there's a little external rotation in that right quad. It's subtle, right? It's not like warrior two where we're fully externally rotated. The energy is lifting up and wrapping around. Sustain that as you bring the thumbs to heart center and twist. You'll feel how that left hip wants to collapse. Sigh. 
Scapula down the back, left quad, continuing its ro external rotation. Commit to the posture through the right heel. Steal the pelvic floor, reach the heart. Look down at your big right toe. Slide the left toe up. Twisted chair. Right knee forward, left knee back. Squeeze the glutes. Lift your navel in. Pelvis rotates forward, so sits bones lift, heart pulls forward. Imagine again that someone on your right side can read your t-shirt. You're opening your heart to the right side of your body. Hips are low, glutes are strong. Inhale, rise up, stand tall. Exhale, thumbs connect to heart center. Hip pause, just for a breath or two. Tune into the pranayama. Ha. Sit into an easy chair. You're not going maximum depth. Right leg over. Set your base. Again, I love having the wall here. Right arm under. Scapula down the back, elbows up, thumbs forward. I've got my right big toes down because I'm a little off balance. Uh-huh. If you're with me, two postures dropped. Keep the spine straight up and down. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes. Open up into half moon posture. Left hand down, right leg back. Keep the right ribs rotating up and the left side waist long. Contract. You activate both adductors to scissor those inner thighs to 90 degrees, or the right hand reaches back for the right foot, for the back bend and the quad release. Chi pasana. Big breath in, open up. Exhale, standing splits. You can hold standing splits. You can play with Shiva squats, inhaling, opening the heart, knee to knee, exhaling back to standing splits. You can play with hand stands. Lots of choices here. Your journey back, down dog. Ha. Pedal it out. Let it go. Ha. Use those exhales. Use those sides. Take a moment. Reclaim that breath. Inhale. Flood the heart. Tune into the frequency. Whatever word you're working with today, they all mean love. Exhale. Push it out and around into the morphic field around you. Putting on your shield. Here we go. Heels lift. Knees bend, weight back, feet to hands. Halfway lift, breath in. Squeeze, upper back is strong so the heart can open and we can receive that inhale. Fold in, let it go, push that exhale out and around. Inhale, sit into chair pose. Exhale, let something release. Inhale, stand tall, lightning rod. Exhale, push that. Exhale out and around. Pause. Ha. Chair pose. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Flat back. Inhale. Down dog. Yogi's journey. We're going to follow the same pattern. Stay with me. Right foot. Warrior one, inhale to rise. Warrior two, exhale to open. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Side angle posture as you exhale. Pause, take an inhale. As you exhale, low lunge. As you inhale, right arm open to the ceiling. This is all familiar. 
Close your eyes and breathe. Keep the left quad, quad and the left medial glute on. Scissor to the midline. Open your heart to the right side. Stamp onto the outside edge of the left foot and the left hand, right toes up and over. Second time here, maybe right hand catches right ankle for Kupi Velasana, maybe. Maybe the left knee is on the earth. Right hand to the mat, flip it over. Outside edge of right foot, right hand, second time. Inside plank. Can you move a little deeper? Can the left hand hold the left knee? Maybe. Left piece fingers hook. The left toes. Look at your right thumb. Float the left leg. Step it up. Spin the right heel down. Warrior two. You're welcome, Allison. Close your eyes. Inhale into the heart. Tune into your frequency. Exhale, push that vibration into your morphic field. Inhale. Ha. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Exhale, side angle posture. Close your eyes. From your right quad into the bone. Wrap, right, those thighs are an external rotation. We've talked about this. They're moving in this direction so you feel more weight in the outside edges of the feet. Inner arches of the cranium are lifting. Take your right hand forward, pop the right heel, slide the right hand forward on the mat, lift the right leg, open your left arm. Parabrita twisted, Ardha Chandrasana. Big breath in. Exhale forward, fold, front of the mat. Toe heel the feet six inches apart if they're not already there. Peace fingers, hook the big toes, scapula in the back pockets. Elbows to the sidewall, fold into the hip crease. Shake your head no. Ha, side out. Release the big toes, toe heel the feet into touch. Chair pose. You guys know where we're going. Take the hips low, squeeze the bandas, flip the heels, balancing chair. Bakasana, crow. You guys all know you do not have to practice crow. You can hold squat, you can flow back and meet us in down dog. Don't even think about it. Tip the heart forward, lift the hips, shoot the toes back. Chaturanga, don't worry if it didn't work out. Ha! Take it back, down dog. Big breath in, deep cleansing exhale. Ha! Left foot, warrior one. Inhale to rise. Warrior two, exhale to open. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Pause, take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, left arm open. Close your eyes, firm your right quad into the bone, wrap your right glute in. Stamp down through the left heel, pull your heart forward. And then let the person on the left side of you see your t-shirt. Twist those left ribs open and shine your heart to the left side wall.
Turn down into the right hand, roll to outside edge of right foot, back into back bend, dancer's table. Advance yogis, left hand to left ankle, kuping lasana. Right hand under the right shoulder, outside edge of right foot, vasisasana side plank. Maybe you move deeper, second time here. Look at your left thumb, float the right leg. Step it up. Circle up. Warrior two. Inhale into heart center. Exhale open. Inhale, what's the vibe? What's the frequency? Exhale, spread it around. Take an inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale, side angle posture, settle in. Let the person on your left see your t-shirt again. Spin those left ribs open, thighs are externally rotating, moving up and over, feeling more weight on the outside edges of the feet, brightness in the inner arches, a lift in the pelvic floor. Breathe. Close your eyes. Look down. Lift your left heel. Extend your left palm forward. Float your left leg. leg. Open your right arm. Parafrita. Ardha Chandrasana. Left leg is dynamic. You can point the left toes or flex. It doesn't matter. Both of them are going to engage that left leg so it's not a wet noodle. Big breath in, exhale, fold it up. Toe heel the feet six inches apart. Lift the balls of the feet, slide the palms under. Parahasasana. Scapula lift into the back pockets, elbows bend to the sidewall, neck completely releases. If you're with me on the music, hail, nama, shivaya, in reverence to the cycles of birth and death. Understanding that destructive forces come in to pave the path for the cycle of birth. Release the hands. You can play with crow again, coming back into balancing chair, or you can take the feet wide, bend the knees, shoulders behind the knees. Transferring a little bit of weight from your hamstrings to your triceps. This is spider pose. Maybe you want to flatten the hands. Maybe you want to float the legs. Bring it back. You can take it back to crow. Hands to the mat. Your journey to down dog. Ha. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Sigh it out, remember the power of the sigh to assist in the process of transmutation. We're almost done with standing poses. Right foot steps. Warrior two, circle up. Straighten right leg, lift left hip point. Triangle posture. Right side is long, spin your left ribs open. Bend your right knee, rise up, warrior two. Lift to center, open to warrior two, back of the mat. Inhale, reverse. Straighten the left leg, lift the right hip point, 
Trigonasana, second side. Right? Look at that. You can see when I'm closing my torso to the mat, right? Open it out. Lift your quads, wrap them back. Reach up. Pull up on the big toe if you have it. Feel a sense of prana lifting out of the posture rather than collapsing into it. Sense of buoyancy, a sense of strength. Ha. Bend the left knee. Rise up, warrior two. Lift to victory pose. Turn your right toes to the front of the mat. Step up. Exhale, thumbs connect, heart center. Let it settle. Rise the arms, breath in. Fold forward into the hip crease, breath out. Halfway lift, inhale. Down dog, yogi's journey. One of your final chances to flow. Right shin bone forward. Half pigeon, you guys all know you can take recline. Figure four on your back. That's better for your hip and knee. Close your eyes and surrender. Ha. Keep your right knee outside your right hip, your right toes in flexion. Push, push your left hip down. See if you can balance out the sacrum and the pelvis. Torso up, palms under the shoulders. Tuck the left toes under, lift the shape. Little final bit of core. Pull the heels and hands back, pull the shin bone forward, lift that heel. Plank pose, option. If you're all done with vinyasa, leave it in the past. Take one more if you want it. Ha. Left shin bone forward. Left knee outside, left hip, left toes in flexion. Push that right hip forward and then relax into the posture. Where's your breath? Where's your focus? Where's your awareness relative to the breath? Are you using the breath to change your frequency to imprint on the morphic field around you? Palms under the shoulders, right toes under, lift the shape, last little bit of core. Step to plant pose. Last chance to flow, take it or leave it. We'll meet back in down dog. Ha. Lift heels, bend knees. Step up, float to a seat from the mat. Go ahead, roll down the spine. Right knee over left, arms like a cactus. Knees to the left, gaze to the right. Maybe you've got the right toes behind the left ankle, maybe not. Good 
back through center. Second side, unwrap, rewrap. Left toes behind right ankle, maybe, maybe not. Knees to the right, face to the left. When you feel balanced, back through center, knees into the chest. Maybe you want to take a happy baby, roll side to side, across the sacrum. I'm kind of making little figure eights with my sacrum on the mat, just balancing pelvis and sacrum after twisting and back bending, bringing it back to neutral. Knees into the chest, big tight, squeezy hug. Shavasana. Can you come back to your breath? Can you imprint on the morphic field? Can you use the heat in the body as the element of fire for transmutation? Can you use the breath as a pump, as pranayama? From fear to love, from overwhelm to resiliency, from boredom to inspiration, right? It's five minutes after the hour. I will leave you here. Enjoy Shavasana as long as your day allows and your body desires. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. Many, many blessings.